I guess. A little bit of a cold. I'm still gonna unbox this package. <sighs> All the way from China. <coughs> Let it in. Fiber cloth. Next level of packaging. So this is <laughs> thermal eye, razor sharp, infrared. <clears throat> it's like one of those seek things you put on your mobile phone, except better. Still not a good thermal camera. So let's see what kind of mounts we got with this shit. <clears throat> Some kind of laser pointer, not sure what that's going to be good for. And uh, grip to put it on, I guess. This is, uh, I would guess, a phone mount and a mount for the camera. So you can mount the phone to the camera. <clears throat> Let's open the, the device itself and see how that looks. Well, it's not gonna get broken, right? So, some kind of Dear X Infrared Customer. Okay. What's this? Is this some kind of big sticker? Yeah. Looks like it's some kind of big sticker. And a user's manual that's not that large. A smaller sticker. I guess that's the camera and it's using micro USB. So this is a USB-C to micro USB cable. What's this? Is there anything else in here? No. So <coughs> they, it's kind of hard to know what you're getting when you order this because I wanted to have a Picatinny mount for this. I didn't get a Picatinny mount for this. In the little commercial for it, they had a Picatinny mount for this. So I guess I have to 3D print one or something, or see if they actually sell that separately. So you get a nice little bag, I guess, that, that protects it. It's a tiny device. So the device itself has a USB-C connector. So I guess I'm not going to be needing this cable, if this is USB-C only. Because, uh, 
micro USBs or like who, who uses that shit. <coughs> so this is the cable that's supposed to go from the unit to your phone. And I guess this one is going in here and the phone is going in here and then you can just uh, thread this on and then you can hold it like this and you use an app to see the thermal image. Not sure if it actually uses the camera or the phone to put that over overlapping pictures or something. We'll see. I'll cut here when I've installed it all and tested it and all that. And we'll see how that looks. Yeah. Okay, I'm hoping this is recording sound. I'm going feeding the squirrels. I'm not really sure where the squirrels are, so let's see if we can find them. Is that a squirrel? I don't know if that's a squirrel. Yes, yes, I can see it. That is a squirrel, the red... The red thing up in the tree is a squirrel. <laughs> so let's... <coughs> let's give it nuts. It was actually watching me. Where are you, squirrel? Whoops. <laughs> Almost falling over myself. Oh, the squirrel is already eating. There you can see the squirrel. It's super cute. Eat the nut squirrel. Yeah, I think this is the best mode, especially outside in winter. You can see him peeking around. <laughs> He's usually sitting on a branch, eating there. I can hardly see him right now. I can, I can hardly see him with my eyes, even though it's daylight outside. But yeah, this camera works. I don't know what the detection distance is. It's a human. And the human is like uh, 25 meters away. Same with that car. The squirrel is about 10 meters away. Yeah. And the squirrel is super cute. Okay, as you hopefully saw, I've tested this a little bit. The specifications of this is nothing special. It's you get what you pay for specifications. So it's not it's a super cheap device since it uses a mobile phone as a seeker. Sorry for me being a snotty mess right now because I have a cold. So you basically just plug it in, start the application from uh, the X infrared application. Pretty easy to use. The good thing about it, so, so you can hold this uh, with the cable inserted like this. Boop, boop, boop. And you take off the the cover for this, of course, <coughs> and uh, and you can use it as a handheld uh, spotting scope. Basically, this has magnification in it, which, according to the commercial, makes you able to spot shit at a kilometer. I don't really believe that, but uh, any wildlife at a hunting distance, like out to 300 meters, you'll be able to at least spot the thermal signature of it. Perhaps not identify it.
but you could spot the thermal signature of it and with the picture in picture thing you can see where you're looking at exactly and then you can uh, spot with a regular spotting scope and perhaps see what whatever the, th the thermal camera picked up so this could be useful for hunting for some reason some kind of laser pointer came with a package that you put on a picatinny rail on top it's a very strange looking picatinny rail but it is a picatinny rail <clears throat> now the interesting part about this is the application you have on your phone actually comes with a reticule for mounting this to a firearm so this kind of solution mounting this on a firearm i don't know but the thing is as you can see th this handle mounts at the same thread pitch as regular tripod mounts so i made this little thing which is picatinny mounted and it has like this uh, gopro mount which is the same as this little thing here so i can mount it like this to a scope this cable isn't that long <laughs> but i can mount the camera to the scope and then actually if i'm at, if i like put some thread lock on all this shit I can uh, actually mount it to a scope and if it's like a 22 or a 9 or something I guess it should hold zero or you just use it as a, as a secondary spotting scope but if you're hunting like wild hog in Sweden and then you get a really good mounting solution or perhaps a picatinny to picatinny clamp here uh, then it's probably gonna work fine so I had this wonderful idea let me get it here we go. So I ordered a two meter long uh, USB cable to, to exchange this one for and I thought why not put the mobile phone in this so it's picture in picture so it's gonna be awkward as all hell but it's gonna work as a head mounted display unit for your thermal scope with a regular daylight camera as well on this it's gonna be very awkward to use if you're moving around of course but if you're just uh, laying prone or in a in a in a high high seat or, or something like well, tune as we call it in Sweden, this should work. If you're hunting, uh, uh, you're only allowed to use thermals in Sweden when you're hunting uh, hogs or wild boar. So it could be a solution for that. It looks super stupid. Unfortunately, this one is super super old. One of the first. It, it's actually the first one that came on the market. It's shitty and the connectors and the sizes and everything is wrong I just found it in a cupboard so I ordered a really cheap other one just to test I'm not gonna hunt with it of course it's too stupid to actually use for that but I want to do it like a proof of concept so that's gonna be a future video and I'll, I'll try it on a shooting range and see how that actually works or, or just uh, try dry firing at home or whatever uh, yeah so th that might be fun with a two meter USB cord that should actually work if you're having the rifle like this and you just put down the glasses with your phone and then have a look at whatever you're doing we'll see the the uh, the update frequency of it is uh, you're not gonna be able to walk around with this shit just, just forget walking around with this and using this on a helmet the, the the frequency of updates is shit the application is shit it crashes all the time uh, it hasn't crashed on this phone. I used another phone when I tried it first and then it just crashed all the time. But yeah, uh, if you're on a budget, this shit is actually useful. It is actually useful because this has some magnification to it. It's not just a wide angle thing where you can only see like 50 meters and then it's like pixels. This actually has some zoom to, to it as you saw in the video. So it's probably useful for the price you get a lot a lot of a lot of usefulness out for the price of this it's like three to four hundred dollars or euros which is nothing for a thermal camera that you can actually get some usage out of this is the shit they put on the drones in ukraine uh, to spot russians on the ground and do shit in the night with the drones it actually does work it actually does work so yeah it's a super fun toy and for the money I have to recommend it I just wish it uh, actually had better software for it but yeah uh, actually using this as a reticule on a gun uh, that'll, ha that'll have to come later <laughs> but for now it's actually a good shit toy uh, that probably is useful 
I just uh, don't have a real use for it right now. <laughs> but for that amount of money, you can do stupid purchases, right? Okay, have a nice day.